Hi, I'm Brent. Today I've got a video update on the MY10 Subaru Outback. And I'll get my camera in to come a bit closer. We'll show you what we're talking about today. And it's more about the problem with the soot buildup in this inlet manifold. And as you can see, we've got the on-car device, which is like a chemical clean for the inside of the engine. And you can see down here how the injector is injecting the cleaning and build up EGR out of the engine. Now, the EGR is exhaust gas recirculation, which is then mixed with the crankcase blow-by that forms this horrible Vegemite black paste in the inlet manifold. Now, this particular owner has already had his inlet manifold off, but wasn't able to clean the ports of his engine, and he particularly noted how bad it was. And I'll show you some links on the bottom of this uh, video um, to our other channel where you can see photos of how bad it was. Um, before he cleaned it out. So what we're doing here is just finishing off the last little bit. But if you've got a Subaru turbo diesel that's done more than 50,000 Ks, and in the case of this one, it's over 100,000 Ks, just have a look at these photos and you'll see just how bad it gets and why over a period of time, your performance and fuel economy starts degrading. And then you also start having some problems with the DPF. Now I'll get my camera in to show you the DPF on this particular model car, because you can see it, the engine's running, but Right down the bottom there you'll see where the diesel particular filter is and that is the part that's there um, which is what filters the unburnt fuel or so also the diesel particulates as a result of the burnt fuel as in the, in the exhaust system and then has to go through an automatic process as far as the way the factory ECU works to clean itself out over a period of time where it regenerates itself. Now over a period of time, that DPF degrades and there's a limit to how much the factory ECU can get itself to clean back to um, zero back pressure. So what we also do as part of this chemical clean is the chemical going through the engine and out through the DPF and into the exhaust then also cleans the DPF. At the end of this process, we'll then do an oil change. We'll also then do a forced regen and typically we can get it back to almost brand new specification without having to remove the DPF, replace it, or remove it and wash it like some people do. And we do not recommend removing the DPF because that is just another nightmare that is great, opens another can of worms. So check out the um, pictures at the bottom of this link. Share this video around, show your other friends around the world. I do hope it's helped you learn a little bit more about your turbo diesel Subaru. After this is finished, we're going to do a performance tune on it so the guy who owns the car can get a bit more power and torque because he tows a caravan with this particular car and um, it's going to be going a hell of a lot better. But for now, no matter where you are in the world, I hope this video has helped you. Check out our information on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Check out our new website update where you can put in your year, make and model and find out even more about your particular car and model. But for now, I'm Brent Middleton. Thanks for watching.